Hold on. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. If you are watching this video and you're not here live, just a heads up, this is not going to be one of those highly edited preview videos I have been putting together lately. This is a live stream and in it, I'm going to delve a little deeper into the theory of one of the videos I've posted recently about the Atlas map. Now I posted a video basically saying, I think we've had the Atlas map confirmed and nobody really noticed. A lot of people still very much disagree with me and they don't think the map we've looked at is the Atlas map. I'm a almost, nothing is confirmed. This is all theory. This is all speculation. I know nothing. I have no insider sources, nothing. So uh, I'm at this point almost 100% sure that, uh, that we're looking at the Atlas map. We'll look at it here in a second. And in today's video, we're going to go a little deeper. With what I, I wish in the video I had gone all the way with the theory, but not just that this is the Atlas map, but that the edges on the east and west are going to uh, match up. And when they do so, let's go ahead ahead and get this off here let's pay, pull up old photoshop and this is how we're going to do the stream today so like i said don't expect a highly edited uh, uh gameplay preview or anything like that and we also don't have the new atlas trailer yet today's uh video premiere got absolutely obliterated with dislikes it was crazy in a thousand views my premiere today has more dislikes than the thirty thousand views on the creatures video so if you're watching live if you're watching after click the like button because we will probably get a bunch of dislikes again um yes <laughs> so today's video is a round earth theory thing basically taking the idea that this map that you're looking at here is the actual map and that it will be uh uh borderless so that uh, the top and the bottom will be poles and that the east and west borders will uh, not be a border they will be a meridian that forms and once we slap this on a globe we'll actually get to see that these edges here uh, that you guys can see on the, the left and right are going to line up so we're actually gonna have to do some funky photoshop work in order to make this work and i figured we would do it live if i decided to go turn this into a video i'd be spending four or five hours on it and i don't know if this theory is legitimate guys so we have a couple of couple i don't know a couple of days and in a couple of days we will find out if my theories are complete nonsense or uh or if they're accurate so we should have some music kicking on here. Yes, we do. Excellent. That feels a little bit loud. So let's go ahead. Like I said, will not be a super smooth one. So if you're looking for super smooth, uh, click in the cards. There's a link to the map video and a link to the uh, exploration preview I did today, which talks about discovery zones and treasure maps and all kind of exciting stuff. And if you've only been watching that stuff, be prepared because when this game comes out, I'm definitely going to be streaming. Uh, and I'm going to be streaming live. There will be chilled, laid back stuff like you're used to from ARK. Hello, Brian. Uh, joining the Geeks Iron Mine Atlas. Yeah, we're probably going to merge those groups together. I won't spend too much time talking to chat off the, out of the gate let's try and get to the point and then at the end we can chat about whatever you want to atlas related and um we'll go from there okay so this is the map i have made a couple of versions of this map and i have also uh, put it onto a globe i'm going to take you through the whole process today and we'll do it with just photoshop on the screen so like i said laid back relaxed stream and don't expect crazy high quality to this video now that being said guys i'm a little bit on the bipolar scale i get depressive i get a little bit manic and when i'm on the manic side i can just talk very few ums and ahs without any limitations i'll just go i'll just keep going and keep talking and there won't be any breaks i'm kind of in that mode right now so uh we're gonna be trying to prove a theory basically in this video for everyone who's watching we don't have the game to play yet and i haven't been able to live stream anything this seemed like a good idea to live stream because i can show you the process step by step of how we're going to turn this map into a uh into a globe let me see if i can pull up that for you the version that i have already got uh-huh right here and right here all right boom that's what it's going to look like when we're done actually it will be even better because we'll remove all of the junk that isn't the map so let's go ahead and get that out of here and let's do some uh let's do some amateur photoshop work and we'll test this theory out Hopefully we'll be able to confirm it. If you want, like I said, if you want a polished video, this will not be it. So, so I'm going to keep this a square and we'll go until we get to just about the edges of the map like that. Okay. And now we'll hop in, select the inverse and delete. I spend a lot of time in Photoshop, so uh, this should go fairly quickly. Uh, rasterize layer. Okay, so this is what we got now. Now we've got a lot of crap to remove. <laughs> so we're going to do a few versions of this. 
Um, and you guys can see, this is not a super high def map. This is about as close as we can get. And those are pixels you're seeing. So that's about as close as we can get without the, the thing turning into total pixelated. So the thing in the middle is the Ark Island map, right? We know that. Now, if we go ahead and pull out the lasso tool, and why is it not working the way it's supposed to right now? Uh-huh, right here. We're going to trim out anything that isn't the map. And like I said, lay back, chill. I got some music going, some of the music from the videos I've been making lately. Um, shout out to anyone who's here. I see a few of the moderators. I see my friend Arali. And let's go ahead and move this. Let me know if I'm still on camera. Um, yeah, lots of people post and stuff. People have like inside info and leaks. I don't have any of that. This is just total theory. So if I go shift F5 content aware, that will basically fill that bottom corner of the map with a facsimile of what you find elsewhere in the map, right? So we're gonna try and do that for everything we see on the screen. Specifically, oh, excuse me. Uh, specifically, we'll zoom in and we'll try and trim out all of these little black lines and stuff like that. And we'll get an image. I already have it, but I figured we would do this live so you can see my process. Uh-huh. So let's let's zoom in even closer and we'll, we'll trim this up. So let's talk about some of the theories, the questions you have. A lot of the people who say this isn't the Atlas map, their big thing is like, oh, that's boring. And it's like, you guys have no idea. The island is a tiny square, barely bigger than this on the map. This map won't be boring when you get into it. If you put 700 versions, let's say you take 100 each of the island, the center, Scorched Earth, uh, Aberration, Ragnarok, and Extinction. You take 100 of those islands each and you slap them in a big map. Guess what? It's going to be a big ocean with a bunch of tiny dots in it. It will not look like a cool, it won't be a cool, aesthetically beautiful map. And I think people who are getting caught up in the aesthetics of this, that can't be your reason for disproving uh, my theory that this is the real map. And we'll prove it even more by contending that the world is going to be borderless. A lot of you guys have played Ark, and you know that when you get to the edge of the map, there is just a wall there. So if we continue to do this Photoshop nonsense, we will be able to take what we've got here, and I think I need to make this one a little bigger. Perfect. Boom. And then we'll magic wand, remove this. Okay, so then Shift F5, boom. And now we have replaced all those dots. Pretty smooth, right? Photoshop's a brilliant piece of software. So most of the people who were uh, dis disagreeing with my argument, they said uh, that this is definitely something that was just whipped up by uh, the, oh, excuse me, wrong tool. Uh, that was just whipped up by PC Gamer to demonstrate the size and scale. I think you are so wrong. I think we will prove that, especially the primary reason is that the east and western edges of this map are going to line up and they're going to look like they, they belong together. And then when we slap it on a map, even more so, you will agree with me. So a little bit of a laid back stream. I haven't been able to stream anything and streams are great for channels and watch time. And I got no Atlas to play, no Atlas to stream. So I figured we would turn this into a stream instead of, like I said, this would be a, this would be four hours, five hours of editing to turn this into a video. Instead, we'll stream for 20 minutes, half an hour. Um, at the end of it, I can talk to you about the, the game questions you got, other videos you'd like to see me do, um, that kind of stuff. But for now, a little Photoshop, little theory crafting, little testing of theories, and proving. No, not proving. I don't know. It's all 100% theory and speculation. See, I told you guys, when I'm on this, this sort of more manic end of my, my mood swings, I just talk. I don't hit any even ums and ahs. I just keep going and going. So hopefully this will not be too hard to watch. And hopefully I give a decent disclaimer for the folks watching the replay. How are we doing on likes and dislikes right now? Um, hopefully not too bad. Ready? Shift F5. Boom. All right, see that? See how beautifully it does that? Photoshop's a fantastic piece of software. So one of the theories that people said is, oh, these islands repeat. Now, that island looks like this island for sure. And if we scroll up, there's these little uh, groups of four like this that looks exactly like a group of four over here, right? Now, I don't think that is any proof because uh, the treasure map mechanic that you will see if you check out the video I posted today, excuse me, the discovery preview. Oh God, get this off my screen. Okay, if you check out the uh, treasure map uh, mechanics, how that's gonna work is you're going to have to pick an island out of several very similar islands and figure out which one to go to. So there will be rotated slightly different versions of each island. So if you have a treasure map for this island, it's gonna be hard to tell whether you're going to this one or this one or this one because they all look kind of the same. Same, right? So it's going to be a cartography challenge. So the devs are going to be incentivized to put in similar but distinctly different islands. 
So that, that corner looks a little sloppy, but by the time we get on, on a globe, it's not gonna be a big deal. All right, now let's zoom in on the arc. Oh God, stop, P pick the right tool, UTC. I knew this would be tough to Photoshop stuff live. <laughs> but I've been Photoshopping, like, so last night we were talking in the Geeks Discord, link for that in the description, um, about the game. And you know what? There is a tolerance tool I can turn up. So that should give us a little bit more of a cleaner edge. Yeah, we'll still see a little outline of the word arc, but what you're going to do, what you're going to do. Okay, so then, nope, wrong thing again. I don't know all my hotkeys really inside out. So we're going to try and remove the black lines. We're going to try and remove the arc map at the middle without getting rid of any of the islands that we know to exist. Ready? Okay, so by the end of this, guys, we're going to slap this map on a globe, and I've seen this actually. Somebody else, I don't know if it's based on the video I released yesterday or not, but somebody else has already done this, and it's been in the official Discord, but that place is a madhouse. I really <laughs> have a lot of trouble paying any attention to the official Atlas Discord. It's just full of, cra I poked my head in there once, and it was just insults and ra racial gay jokes, all kinds of stuff. So I'm sure it's better at times, but man, when I poke my head in to ask a question, I just got eviscerated by the nerds that are hanging out in there. <laughs> okay, all oh, right, okay, so we're gonna have to, okay. All right, so let's start. This whole section doesn't have any islands in it, right? Right here. So we're gonna wanna make sure that we don't uh, get the islands that are included. So we'll have to remove these. Uh-huh, remove this, remove this. Uh-huh, remove that, okay. So, okay, and we got a bunch of extra stuff selected, so let's, boom. We don't wanna get rid of any of the information that we think to be accurate and part of the actual map, so let's do a bunch of messing around, and I think, guys, I think this will be confirmed, all of my ideas, um, but pro 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 quite possibly not, okay? Uh, so that's all been selected, let's also select this. And then all we'll have to do, and we're gonna, okay, so just to make this as smooth as possible, we are going to go, so this part of the map is the one we will know the least about. It's gonna fill this space with islands that definitely won't be there, just a heads up. This is, like I said, I'm messing around with speculation and ideas. So if we go selection, uh, grow, no. Uh, selection, modify, uh, expand by say three pixels. That's a little bit too far, okay. Ooh, and we have, okay, we have we have stuff selected out here as well. Okay, so let's let's clean this up. So I knew this would be a bit fiddly, guys, but I figured uh, people would be down for a live stream. We could chat about the game once I am done, and you guys can chat while I'm focusing on this screen, which is why I'm not paying too much attention to the, the stream chat right now. But yeah, get ready. When this game comes out, guys, I'll be streaming, hanging out with friends, a rally specifically. I uh, should be able to get together with Monkey Puzzle, tag back some of the people, Syntac, some of the people you know that I have done stuff with in Arc in the past. So now that we've got this, we go selection, modify, expand, and I think like two pixels will be plenty. Yes. Okay, so shift, F5, boom. Okay, so those islands in this current selection right here, definitely not there. What it did is basically extrapolate. And interestingly, I think it extrapolated some winter islands down here that I don't think will be there. So let's just go ahead and do this. Okay, that's a little bit better. So... As predictions go, I think that's closer to an accurate one. Uh, okay, I can still see the arc word and the atlas word, and they aren't covering up much. So let's try and clean those up. Boom. And let's clean this up in the middle. Boom. Nope. Uh, yes. Okay, perfect. That didn't really do much. Now, uh, the text on the screen... This is the, my number one proof. According to Wildcard, Atlas is about 1,200 times bigger than the Ark Island. In this image, the blue square is the Atlas map. Everybody who's saying it's not, that's a weird way for PC Gamer to phrase it if they're not, uh, if, <laughs> if that's not what they're talking about. Okay, so this part here, this is a lot of small text, so we're going to have to do our best. But there's not really any islands visible under it. So we just need to trim up, like here. And we'll trim out some of this middle bit so it doesn't extrapolate stupidly. Uh-huh. Perfect. And so when you look at this map, guys, you look at the treasure maps, they all have this little light blue bit around the outside. So that's what I think we're seeing. Obviously, this is the highest res version of this I could find. If there is a higher res one, apologies. But I wanted to, I wanted to stream this stupid idea. And like I said, if I leave these spots in the middle, then it won't add in anything stupid. 
that doesn't make sense based on the data we have available. And look, there's islands here. We want to make sure we don't uh, cover those up with some new non-existent islands. So we'll do this. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh-huh. And we'll do this. All right, now if we zoom out a little bit. Okay, watch this. Ready? Not bad. It didn't really put many islands in there, but that's okay because we don't know what will be in those areas. So you guys see lines and stuff. That's going to be the underwater topography. And up at the top, you see a lot of light-colored islands. These are snow islands. And this, this section here is not right either, if you ask me. Those look like tropical islands down here. So if we wanted to, we could try and get it to figure out how to do more snow islands down here. But I don't know that any of that is going to work properly. Uh-huh. And select this, and then we'll magic one to make sure that we don't expand outside our square. Boom. Now, I people, one of the comments I got on this is like, they, they better release this damn game. UTC going to break this thing down pixel by pixel. That is not really a bad criticism. It's exactly what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> And then someone was like, man, if you keep this up, we're going to have round earth conspiracy theorists. And I was like, that's the perfect title for a stream where we mess around with this idea. Um, one, one thing about this, guys, I know I'm making a lot of content on the game based on not a ton of information. Uh, so um, so I'm, it's rare for me to have this kind of enthusiasm. And if you guys know anything about your favorite YouTube channels, they're at their best when the content creators are enthusiastic. So I wanna keep channeling my Atlas enthusiasm is into content that you guys will appreciate and care for. So um, that's, that's what we're talking about. Um, okay, so that is the map we've got. Now we're gonna do a couple funky things with it. First of all, we're gonna take this and we're going to duplicate layer and we'll put it in a new document. And that should give me exactly the size and shape uh, oh, did that work? No. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to select all of this. We are going to image crop. No, we're going to... Well, how do I do this again? Okay. So. Control D. Okay, so let's just select. Boom. Okay. Okay. Now, let's copy that, and if I create a new document, I think this will be perfect. Boom. Okay. Perfect. So, let's go ahead and save this. We're going to save this as a JPEG, and we'll call it uh, Atlas. Whoops. All caps. Atlas Map. Now, one thing that's going to make this look really good on a globe is if we add grid lines. So that's the next step. Okay, so that is done. And one thing that's in my favor, guys, and I think this is some people were like, oh, this theory is, oh, shoot, is already confirmed. Okay, ready? Boom. This is the basic confirmation. Atlas will host up to 40,000 players exploring the same globe simultaneously. Now, uh, I guess that basically says the world is going to be a globe, but they haven't actually confirmed that. We don't know anything about the mechanics. We haven't seen the UI. We haven't seen menus. We could also, if you guys want to, dive into some of the, the comments that disagree with me and agree with me, but I don't know if that's exciting. Um, we could head into Reddit, where I've proposed this idea. Is this the actual map of Atlas? Quote, I don't think this is the map because boom. Uh, and then conversation about the map being a globe and people saying it's impossible that wouldn't work um and then uh buh, 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 a lot of the islands look like copies uh probably accurate to size but not the actual islands um so lots of people basically said i would say the map is specific to what it's advertising it's only meant to show off the size uh, don't get me wrong but i think they're hiding the map so most people here disagree it's taken from the pc gamer article to show the difference between the size of the arc island little dot in the middle and that whole blah blah blah, blah. A lot of people, a lot of more than likely just the scale and not the actual map itself. Almost everybody disagrees with me. This theory almost made me not post the video. Uh, every comment of mine, if you guys look, they all get like heavily downvoted. I don't know if we can see the actual, but like a lot of my comments on here are like minus two, minus four. People on Reddit are like, you're an idiot. This is stupid. I disagree. And then I posted the actual one here and we go, uh, uh, ba ba ba. Okay. What does this one say? Enjoyed the video, help pass the time. A nice. Okay, most of the people here don't disagree. Once they see the video and me post the, the, the argument. Okay, so this is the software we are going to use. But before that, we're going to use this, gridtrawingtool.com. And we're going to go, uh, step one, upload. Start. Okay, so we'll choose a file. 
We'll choose this one that we just created. And we're going to put a grid on it that will make it look really good when we do the globe projections. So, bum, bum, bum. Now, this is the only problem with this site. In a perfect world, I would do a 27 by 27 grid. Uh, because that is roughly how many you would need for one island to be in each grid section. This site can only do a 20 by 20 grid. So, I really can't do any bigger. But adding that grid, so if we go ahead and do this in white. And we go a one pixel line. And we go grid dimensions the biggest possible. Like this. Apply grid. Right, we will have something that looks like this. So let's download that and we're going to call it uh, map two. Save. Okay, and now we're going to slap this. We're going to map to globe.com. We still got some music playing. Yes, we absolutely do. This is the this is the version with the writing and with the arc map on it. So you can see the size of the island. If this is a globe, for everyone going, man, that map's boring. These islands are way too small, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's the island. So this island, not terribly tiny. This island, not terribly tiny. There's some big ass islands floating around this thing. Now, I didn't do a proper job cleaning this one up, so there's some funky stuff happening. So let's go ahead and we'll go images and we will choose a new file. We're going to go to Atlas. Oh, where the heck did I put this? Atlas Exploration, mm -hmm. map two, done. Okay, we're gonna slap this on here. Is that it? Done, okay, so. Most important thing, guys, this is the eastern edge and the western edge of the map. Now, some of this I had to uh, I had to copy over or I had to whatever. So if we look in the middle of the world, and you can see how low res this is. But if we look at the areas that, that cross over, the edges kind of line up, right? Now, this is a duplication, it looks like, where that, that light circle is the same as this. Um, but then if we get into here, it's like this patch of light matches up with this patch of dark. Right? And here's another point where because of the curvature, this isn't quite perfect, but those two look like they match up, right? And then you get to the top of the world where there are all the ice islands and they're a little bit stretched out and funky. And that's because the map that they provided in PC Gamer is a two-dimensional map and it's been adjusted in order to not look super funky. But how I think this whole thing is gonna work is if we go back to place the, to this and we pull up my uh, original, the full original map, ready? Okay, so that's the full original map right there. My theory is that when you sail off the uh, east side of the map, you appear on the west. This will only work in one direction. If this is a globe, you won't be able to sail. It won't be like, assuming they decide to do this as a globe, that's how it will work. If they do it like Pac-Man, you won't be able to sail off the top and arrive on the bottom. But if it's a globe, that doesn't make sense. Let's slap back over to the globe. When you sail to the top, you will be at the North Pole. You won't be able to just zap to the South Pole. It's not gonna be Pac-Man. It's gonna be Pac-Man going east and west, okay? Flat Earth, round Earth evidence, conspiracy theory. Now, again, still a theory, not confirmed, but I think I'm right. Who thinks I'm right? Um, pretty strong evidence, okay? So that's the edge. It looks like it matches up. There are areas where it doesn't, but I think simply if we just stretch that a little bit to, to, meet, to meet there, and if we just stretch this circle a little bit to meet that, that line, this thing lines up absolutely perfectly. You see all the light colored islands uh, exist at the top of the map. And I think if we go back to the full map, I'm gonna have another theory to propose for you guys that uh, biomes are gonna work in zones. So if we imagine, boom, tropical zone, right? Or sorry. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> so if we imagine this, that is going to be a polar area. All of the snow biomes will exist there. Boom. And actually this one at the bottom is huge. So if we look at that, polar region number two. Then what we'll have is in the middle, here and here, will be a temperate region. Now keep in mind that this section and this section aren't what the map will look like. We had to autofill those using uh, Photoshop. These will be your temperate regions. And then right down here, Right across the middle of the map in a band, just like an equator, will be the tropical regions. And for the people that say, hey, these islands repeat, one of the really interesting things that I wanted to point out is where they repeat, they repeat in close proximity. You don't see, for example, this little group of islands, and let's zoom in, you don't see this little pattern in randomly throughout the map, where if they had just created this in Photoshop, you would see that pattern up here, and you would see that pattern down here. All of the similarly shaped islands are in horizontal geographic bands, right? I should actually do real conspiracy theory videos. This gets me, uh, gets me excited. But you see that pattern and that pattern. That's because when you get a treasure map, 
and you're exploring in the tropical zone, you will take your treasure map and you'll have to rotate it and match it up, which if we go back down to the snow biome, you will see some very similar shapes, right? Um, so this looks like that. Oh, actually this whole section on the bottom right was... Okay, so this one here looks like that one. That is actually logical. And at this resolution, we definitely can't tell the difference between a similar island and a identical island. And I had this conversation with Hunt, who's one of the moderators in chat right now. So I think everybody's on board. It would be awesome if we could confirm this, but basically guys, we're gonna be waiting till December 19th in order to confirm that A, this is the map, and that B, we'll have a borderless world with a, uh, <laughs> with a, uh, 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 with a globe. Rep so how that's going to work in game, because a lot of the people when I first presented the globe idea said, oh, that's crazy. They're going to have to figure out gravity, etc. In game, the world will not be round. In game, you will have an exactly a giant square arc world. It will be this. This is what the world will be like in game. But instead of having borders, simply when you cross from here to here, you will be teleported to here. Now we know that's gonna be very simple because this map that you're looking at, instead of being one server, is gonna be 1200 servers. 27 across the top, 27 down the side, in a square. Something to that effect. Now it probably won't work exactly that way, but they're gonna harness the power of 1200 servers to do this. So uh, if, if as I travel from, uh, let's zoom in a little bit. If as I travel from here, to here, it's gonna move me to a different server. Then I theorize that as I travel from here to here, it is going to just simply teleport me and I will seamlessly move from one location to another. People saying you can't stop this train once he started. This is what I mean, guys. I have these ups and downs. People have seen me in my more depressive states, the more manic states. I've been, what is this, 26 minutes. I haven't stopped talking for a damn split second, right? So, uh, so that's it. No new screenshot. We created this using Photoshop uh, and using this, the original map. So that is all that we did today. We took this original map, we used Photoshop to trim out the edges and to fill space using